Uh, excited, like uh, um, you know, I started my coaching career obviously with Queensland and then uh, Brisbane Heat. So to come back to where it all started, it's quite exciting. So you know, I fall in love with the game again. So to get back from working with some young guys that I think have got a lot of talent, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. What you say? Oh, sorry, just gonna say, if you say you fall in love with the game again, which obviously meant after the Cape Town, you know, that it was a very bruising experience. How down were you, and did you fall out of love with the game? Oh, just. Um, Oh, that hurt a lot of people, didn't it? Um, you know, the, all of us involved. Um, obviously, it's time to move on, though, isn't it? That's the thing. The game of cricket's bigger than any incident. So for us, it's about you know moving forward. And for me, it's exactly the same. So yeah, it was a tough time for everyone involved. No, none more so than the three players. Um, so for me, it's a, a case of really enjoying the game again. I, I went away and watched the game all summer, which was absolutely fantastic. So. You know, hopefully the Australian boys can start winning some cricket, which would be great. Do you think you'd ever be in a position where you wouldn't coach again? I know you chose to stand down. Was there was that ever a thing that maybe you walk walk away from the game? Oh, you think about it uh, at times, um, but I love the game. I'm a cricket nuffy, so why wouldn't I want to keep coaching if I can? So, for me, I just got a great opportunity from obviously the Heat board and, and Queensland cricket. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge ahead. Um, and coaching again. I mean, it's exciting. It's great fun, actually, you know, seeing the smiles on players' faces when they play well. So for me, it's going to be a, a great challenge. Obviously, I think they were just off the mark last couple of years, but, uh, you know, it's a young squad and they've got some quality players. So that's my job to, to get them playing the right way. I think they play an entertaining brand of cricket, and that's one thing I'm looking forward to. Do you return a different coach after Cape Town? Is there lessons that you learnt uh, with a year of out of the game in perspective, looking back to say, look, I, I didn't realise that I was doing this or that, that you've Change. I think you learn a lot about yourself in, in dark times. Um, so for me, it's about enjoying the game. I mean, it's a great game we play, and, and we're just custodians of the game. So really, for me as coach, all the players, it's, it's about getting the next generation through and, and playing well for, obviously, the, the Heat or Queensland cricket or whoever it may be, and then obviously playing for Australia. So um, for me, it's, it's about moving forward and, and loving the game. Was it, when you say enjoying the game, did, was that lost for a while there. It seems such a vicious series, that South African one. Yeah, I think the, I think international cricket is hard work. I mean, it's 300 days away a year. Whether you're a coach or a player that plays all three formats, it's really tough work. So it's a, um, you know, it's great fun representing your country. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's you know, it was the best job in the world. I loved it. Um, but it, it is tough work on everyone. So, especially families first and foremost. So for me, it's more of a case of actually just getting back to the simplistic thing of the game of cricket and enjoying it and a lot of fun. Was this a big decision to get back in the coaching saddle? You mentioned how difficult it can be. Uh, not really, no, no. The Brisbane Heat were great, and I, I know there were some great applicants as well. So, you know, uh, I've, when they came speaking to me and I, I had the interview process, it was you know really enjoyable actually. You know, quite nerve-wracking as well. So that, that's a great thing. That's that's what you want as a coach to be nervous and enjoy it. So yeah, it was okay. Chris Lynn was the captain this year. Would you look to continue him on as the captain? Yeah, definitely. Um, Have you spoken to him? Oh, I've spoken to him. I actually travelled with him back from uh, Bundaberg for the Bulls Masters the other day for about five hours. So that was a, a get to know your captain coach chat. Although I hadn't been appointed then, so uh, I was just fingers crossed. Yeah. Well, the last time you were wearing a, a Brisbane Heat shirt, it was a pretty memorable season for the club. Did that have any sort of impact on your decision coming back? Um, a little bit because I sort of left with unfinished business as well at the time. I, I sort of went to the Australian team. So to get back and, and you know, finish some work with the younger guys, and it's obviously a different group of players now, uh, a lot younger group uh, in, in this squad than there was then. Um, and I'm really looking forward to developing and, as players and, and helping Justin and the Australian team out with hopefully getting players playing better. You also need to look elsewhere, you feel, for this sort of overseas and internationally, get some better international. Well, Brendan McCullum's a pretty good international, but obviously he's finished up and he's been great for the Brisbane Heat, so we'll have to look at the overseas. Uh, I'm very impressed with Najib, so we'll look at that one. Um, but overseas is always the hardest one because of the, the, the time frame. So we'll look at that in the next few weeks. Have you had any desire to return as an international coach? No, no. I'm not travelling 300 days away a year again, and I don't think my wife would let me do that either. Do you think the competition has gone too far? I mean, and that there are too many games in the BBL at the moment? I think the games are fine. 
because uh, there was no dead rubbers last year. It's just the length of time, and I'm sure Crit Australia are going through that now, and, and by the sounds of it, it's going to be condensed a bit more. So that means there's more double headers or triple headers. That'll be great entertainment for people you know, watching or coming to the game. So I think it'll condense anyway, yeah. you know, naturally. Um, and once you do that, it'll be you know, a lot quicker tournament. How much of the heat did you see last season, Darren, and, and what were your immediate uh, areas for improvement be, do you think? Oh, I think playing a little bit smarter. That, that's uh, the main thing. They're certainly entertaining side. There's no problems there. They've got all the talent and class, and you only have to look at the last game where they chased 150 odd none down. Did I watch a lot? Yeah, I did. Um, I, I like watching the Heat. I don't like watching the Strikers because my son plays, so that's no good. Um, but I watched a lot of the BBL games. Uh, why wouldn't you? It's on most days.